Besides the fact that how awful I look, I actually feel great. Um, I don't know why I look so beat up. I have dry shampoo in my hair. I put it, um, tons of dry shampoo in my hair before I go into the shower. So by the time I'm taking a shower, it just marinates in there, it takes the oil away. And then I just got out of the shower. I was gonna exfoliate because I started having patches all around my um, wrist and hands, but then I was like, it is too early. It's not gonna come off. I'm gonna be a pale patchy person. So I decided to rock the um, patches and keep on my tan for a couple of more days. Then we can just scrub it off and then probably I won't tan because I'm starting my laser again, which is very exciting. It wouldn't be my vlog if we didn't start off talking about tanning, my patches, and laser. Like, every single vlog. Um, but yeah, it's part of my life. This is what happens when you vlog every day of your life. But yeah, um, I woke up this morning, I was reading my book that I showed you guys, I think, in my previous vlog. I have, I think, like 10 pages left, and I left it for tonight. I was gonna work out but I got lazy I was like just let's just forget about it I kind of like that I vlog every single time that I work out because it just kind of motivates me to work out um, so yeah but today I was like no I just rather to take a chill morning because I'm gonna have a crazy busy day today and I have an extremely busy day tomorrow um, so yeah I was like I'm just gonna take a chill morning to this morning so I was reading my book and now I'm starting to um, get ready. Uh, I'm getting ready to go um, do a photo shoot. Um, it's been a long time I haven't gone to take any outfit pictures. So I'm just gonna start getting ready and I was thinking of using my MAC products that I received in my previous vlog. So that's why I was like, let me just take you guys along. I'm using the... Um, strobe cream the hydrate hydrating illuminating mac strobe cream i think this is in the color gold light gold light yeah i'm just gonna apply it all over i don't think you're supposed to do this all over especially on your pores but i do it all over um so yeah i'm getting ready to go take a picture which i haven't done in a very long time um, I was not gonna wear foundation today because it's extremely hot, but since we're doing a photo shoot, um, I kind of have to. So I'm gonna go with my Clinique Even Better Skin. I've been absolutely loving this. Like for the past week and a half, I've been wearing this and I did my nails last night too. Not very happy with it, it's too peachy, but we're gonna leave it. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving this, um... Uh, foundation um, it is the darkest foundation that I have I think this one on my Lancome one is two of my dark ones but I like this one better um, I stopped face tanning my face so I have patches on my face I scrubbed this area because it was getting really patchy it's still very patchy um, but it was really bad so I mixed this with my Charlotte Tilbury illuminator um, I just like the look of any kind of illuminating product and I honestly go on with my hands brush takes too much of my product um, the coverage is not as much as I want it to be I found that going with my hands is the best thing so 
By the way, if you guys can hear a noise in the background, I always address the noises in the background. Um, the pool water is going in today. So they just started it this morning. So apparently it's going to take nine hours. So by tonight, we should have a pool with water. I usually don't like a yellow light, but I have to turn this light on because I literally can't see anything that I'm doing. So I'm sorry if this is too yellow, but I have to turn it on so I can see. It is a really, really, really hot day. And I still don't know what outfit I want to take a picture in. Um, I bought tons of stuff um, from H&M and Zara and stuff that it, I always tell you guys, I'm not going to style it in a video. I'll style it over on my Instagram. So I have content for both. Um, yeah, but I don't know which one I want to style for today. I'm using the concealer. Uh, I mean, I don't think this is considered a concealer. This is a highlighter. Uh, the brightening highlighter. I have been loving this. I forgot how much. I mean, I knew I love it. But, like, I forgot how good this is. And how much smoother my makeup looks. I know I kind of applied a lot, but it's fine. When you blend it, it doesn't look as bad. Okay. This is how it looks. I really like it compared to a thick concealer. It just works better for my skin. And um, I've noticed my makeup doesn't crease as much. And it's just, it's just love it. It just looks better. So I'm going to continue doing my makeup that you guys have seen millions of times. So I'll just pop you on a quick time lapse until I sort this out. Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody Slow it down, put yourself at ease Time to live it live Get away from the do and do I'm wearing this dress from Zara and this is my ASOS necklace um, I'm wearing my Adana London and my cousin's jewelry I'm absolutely obsessed with these pearls and probably I'm gonna wear a pearl headband as well I have this um, this color blue um, headband like padded ones with white um, pearls on them so probably I'll wear that before going to the photo shoot I honestly didn't do anything for my hair just basically brushed it I didn't even straighten it like it has a little bit of like kinks from uh, putting it in a ponytail uh, but I'm not gonna straighten it because I don't want to add heat and anyway it's behind my ears in the back no one can see it uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, go on a photo shoot and take a picture of this outfit and on my way back I want to stop by Trader Joe's because my cousins are coming over today um, and I'm very excited because I haven't seen them in a very long time and I want to buy little like picky bits um, to make a cheese board so we can snack on and there's this specific um, white um, sparkly wine that we always drink when we're together so I want to buy that and just little bits and bobs so I can make a little um, cheese board, snack board for us. Uh, and then I'll be right back. Uh, probably I'm not going to take you guys along because I have to wear a mask and going to the supermarket is very overwhelming. So I'm not going to take you guys along. So probably I will see you guys when I'm back from Trader Joe's. Okay. 
I am taking my water bottle everywhere with me like this is my way of like forcing myself to drink more water I move this around with me around the house all the time and every time I have to I'm going out I still take this with me so I can sip on it throughout the entire day because that's the only way I can drink water if not I totally forget about it wanted to show you guys the final pool update it was really windy yesterday so that's why there are a lot of like leaves in there but it is finally done and we have to put the vacuum in it's not in yet but it looks absolutely amazing so few hours have passed ever since i saw you guys i just realized i'm matching with our cabinets i absolutely love this color of blue um, but yeah, I got back from Trader Joe's and put my hair in a little bun because it was honestly really hot and I couldn't um, cope with this heat. Put it in a little bun and you put a cute um, silk um, scrunchie with it and you absolutely look chic. You can put a little bit of effort off like um, curling this first like front bit or you can completely tuck it in. Um, but I will just leave this as is because it's really hot and I cannot be bothered. But yeah, I'm getting ready to create my cheese board. I just made my fruit boards, which I'm gonna show you guys. Um, but let me show you guys a drink that I was telling you. I put it in the fridge for it to get a little bit cold. First of all, how bougie is the bottle? It's very, very cute. I get it from Trader Joe's. Um, it's basically a Moscato and peach white wine. Um, it is really, really good. Um, I think it is bubbly if I'm not mistaken. Every time we get together with my cousins, this is what we drink. Um, this is a sweet drink, so if you don't like sweet, just don't go for it perfection for like a summer day so once in a while when i don't drink a rosé this is what i will go for i'm gonna put this back on the fridge so it can get a little bit chilly until they come i will go ahead and make the cheese board but i will for sure show you guys the final result i'm gonna make a vegetable board too so let's get into making these boards <laughs> Come on now, come on, won't you come with me? Time to let it go and be free. Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody. Slow it down, put yourself at ease. Time to live it live. Get away from the do and do. favorite um veggie dip um you mix in sour cream any sour cream will do i use this and use use a ranch powder um this is my favorite ranch powder from house of spice um i ordered this when i was ordering the ordering the jars for our pantry i absolutely love this this is our second bottle ever since then that's how much we love using this obviously you can use the actual ranch dressing uh, but i love this and i love mixing it with sour cream it just tastes a little bit a little bit richer so i'm gonna mix those two and pour it in my um veggie dish metal for dipping it's so good
afternoon everyone it's actually a night time i think it's like 10 p.m um i just wore my um dressing gown because every single ac in our house is on and you guys know how cold i get so that's why i wore these oh my god i look horrendous um, my cheeks these are not makeup this is the effect of the alcohol <laughs> when you have rosacea and you drink alcohol your cheeks gives you away um yeah we've been having a fair amount of wine remember i'm not sure if i was debating if the wine was sparkly or not it is a sparkly i forgot if it was a sparkly wine i wasn't sure actually not that i forgot but i wasn't sure if it's sparkly or not and it is oh my god this is such an unflattering angle i'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah i just wore my dressing gown because I'm cold getting ready to remove my makeup I'm very very much tempted to just go to bed like this because I'm extremely exhausted but I'll be a responsible adult wash my makeup off um, and then get into my PJs and go to bed so probably I will speak to you guys tomorrow morning but I just want to check in and tell you guys I had a fabulous time it was so nice to see that I'm like I love like they're like my sisters this group of cousins they're like literally my sister and they're not blood related cousins so it's just i think that's what makes it more special i just call them cousin because i don't know how to explain their relationship it's just so long um but yeah they're not blood related cousins but they're literally like my sisters so yeah we had a fabulous time talking drinking eating catching up but yeah i have to wake up tomorrow very early because i have a very heavy schedule tomorrow so i'm just gonna wash my makeup off and go to bed i'm actually gonna finish up my book too i only have like 15 pages left but yeah i'm just gonna get my makeup off because i look horrendous at this point and then um go to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning good night open skies come now come listen to the melody slow it down put yourself at ease time to live it loud. good morning everyone it is actually not the morning it is around 3 30 or 4 p.m i'm not used to um turning on the camera this late but it has been crazy few days i actually last saw you i think like three days ago yep it has been that long and this past two days that i haven't seen you nothing interesting happened for me to show it to you guys it was just work stuff and family stuff all good all taken care of i was just very behind on my blog posts um i didn't upload any blog posts for like two weeks because i was just behind um i talked about i talk about this in most of my um videos about like how i sometimes struggle with creativity or sometimes i struggle with uh, writing uh, but it was not any of that it's just i ran out of topics to talk about to be honest with you like every topic that i would come up with to write i would be like would this be interesting would they like to know more about this so that's why i was in a little bit of a blockage of blog post uh, but i came up with tons of new ideas that i personally would love to learn more about so that's why i put those like i wrote i wrote those down i can't even speak um i had three coffees so i'm a little bit too excited about life right now so if i talk really fast or i seem nervous i am not it's just i had three coffees today so yeah that was that i took care of lots of blog posts and a lot of work things then we had a family event and all of that so all of that is done and today um, from the morning i had meetings back to back so i was not able to pick up my camera i actually went on a walk and i came home and worked out this morning which felt so good because i haven't done that in like three days so it felt really good um I went for a very long walk then i came home did a leg workout my legs were shaky um and then had one of the best like showers ever one of those that you shave you exfoliate you wash your hair you put like hair mask on and everything i was gonna put a purple shampoo on my hair but i totally forgot i remembered it afterwards i ordered tons of items from target um the new collection that launched i'm sure everyone is aware of it because everyone was buying and everything was by the time i went to shop which was the next day 
um, it was literally most of them were sold out um, but thankfully the items that I had my eye on I was able to get them so I'm gonna go through all of them I'm gonna actually try them on for you guys in the video um, and then I'll let you guys know which one I'm keeping which ones I'm returning one of them is the one that I'm wearing right now and I'm absolutely obsessed with this so yeah before ending the vlog I'm just gonna try on these target items then I have a couple of um, items that I got from world market that I'm absolutely obsessed with I have to show you guys those and then I have one skincare item that I have to show you and then probably it will be the end of this vlog but yeah before that let me let's start doing the target stuff I'm sorry I'm talking so fast but like you have to deal with my high energy today this is the first dress and I'm absolutely obsessed with it it has the cutest like bow um, ties on top and I love that it's completely different pattern um, it hits right above the knee um, and this is how the back looks it's very cute and comfortable like perfect summery dress so this is one of the items I'm actually keeping because I was like in love as soon as I saw this online I was like I need to have this uh, I'm wearing all the items in a size 14 and extra large but I will double check for you guys and write it on the screen um, this is the first item and I'm keeping it I already took the tag off and I'm absolutely obsessed this with is it. the next dress very cute and puffy and I absolutely love the colors it's so comfortable the design is so nice like that I love this elastic and the waist because you guys know I always like to cinch in my waist because I do have pretty big hips so I just like to cinch in my waist um, the only issue that I have with this is that it is pretty short that's the only thing that I have like look how short that is um, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really like how it looks. Um, it is very cute. Like this has like a simple back. Um, I just love the design over here. Just overall, I really, really like it. It's such a comfortable um, dress. Um, I know these poofs can be a little bit too much because... I don't know, it's, it might not be something that everyone would like, but I personally really like it. And I think it's very cute for summertime. Um, and we're planning on a few Palm Spring trips, so I think this dress will be very cute to wear there. Um, I might not wear this on a casual shopping trip of summer day because it's just a little bit short and I'll be uncomfortable, especially from the back. It's really short. Um, but overall, around the house, pool parties, pool days, Palm Spring, it would be fabulous. So I really like it. This is the second dress and I'm keeping this one as When well. I was shopping online, this item was one of my favorites. Like I was like, I have to get my hands on this because this is everything I love in a clothing. It's white, it has lace, it has this elastic on the waist. Look how beautiful the arms are. Like the detail is absolutely stunning. I actually haven't steamed any of these because I wasn't sure which one I'm keeping. That's why I haven't steamed them, but just imagine them steamed but the generally speaking the biggest issue that i had with all these items were how short they are like i want to be comfortably wear this out and about like shoppings and stuff but unfortunately i can't because i can't bend whatsoever the front is this long the back is really really short and i personally am not comfortable if you are then you do you boo but i personally would love more of a longer length like at least like a little bit above my knee for an everyday wear uh but this is absolutely stunning i'm honestly debating if i should keep it or i should return it because i'm torn i'm absolutely obsessed with design of it another thing with this dress is it is very much see-through like very see-through this area you have to wear a sleep underneath or i'm sorry there's a hair stuck here and i can't get rid of it i think it's gone <laughs> um you have to wear a sleep or some sort of like if you're into shapewear or biker short you have to wear something underneath because it absolutely shows everything even though it has two layers like it is lined but still you can see everything so that's another issue just to keep in mind in case you care about that but if not there is no dress in this collection that is more me than this it has the puff it has the lace it has it has everything i'm looking for I just wish it was a little bit longer so I can wear this like out and about as well. Some people might say it's a little bit too much for out and about and I agree but we all know me. I glam up on a casual day 
if you don't have any issues with the height of the dress then i would say just go go for it it's absolutely stunning the dress that i'm the most disappointed in this dress looked so beautiful online like i couldn't wait to buy it but the fabric is really bad i'm really not happy with the fabric it looks just it just feels very cheaply made um the design of it could have been so beautiful and the belt is very cute everything about this dress is stunning but unfortunately it's just the overall look of it it looks like a dress that a kindergarten girl would wear i'm sorry if that's offensive to some of some people but that's what it reminds me of it's not a flattering dress for a 30 year old woman in my personal opinion some people might rock it but it is not for me i won't be able to rock this um and i just didn't like the fabric and again just like all the other dresses the other issue that i have with it, it is that it's extremely short um and i'm 5'4 so i'm not the tallest person so if it's this short on me i can only imagine how short it will look on other girls um, I mean some people are okay with it, but I just it's not that I'm not okay with it It's just I wouldn't be comfortable walking around because I have to keep like making sure that I'm not flashing anyone. <laughs> we don't want that um, So yeah, this dress is 100% being returned because I just didn't like anything about it to be honest with you So that's about this and dress. This is the last dress that I can barely fit in like literally if you guys can see it's like cutting my circulation that's how tight it is on me um this isn't a size extra large or 14 i think um but it is very tight on me i really like this dress i just love the color contrast i love the style of the skirt how they mixed two um like different styles i love that it's satin i love the top the girls are a little bit pressured right now because the dress is really tight on me but since it was fitting me i wanted to wear it so you guys can see um how it looks on me um but yeah i have to size up for sure in this i have an engagement in end of september hopefully we still don't know if it's gonna happen or not but we're hoping it's gonna happen and i was thinking this is a fantastic dress for that event um it's flirty it's fun i absolutely love the length of it it goes right above my ankle I just need to size up in this because this area and this area is under pressure i can't breathe even getting into it is very difficult and this is how the back is looking it's like a crisscross but obviously since it's really tight on me this doesn't look nice i'm not sure if a bigger size will be available i haven't looked it up yet this was the last item that i received which was today but for sure i will be in the hunt for a bigger size of this because I just love everything about it. I love the colors, I love the style. I like the strappy situation and the crisscross in the back. You guys know I mostly try to wear dresses or tops that cover my arms, but when I go to a special occasions, I really don't mind. It's totally fine and I really, really like the style of this dress. I love that the around the waist is pretty tight, so just that kind of dresses always are the most flattering on me. But yeah, this is the last dress and as I said, unfortunately this has to go back only because of the sizing and I will try my best to find um, one size bigger will probably fit absolute perfection. Those are all the items from Target. I just switched back to my original dress because this is the most comfortable dress for summer. Easy to throw on, it just looks very cute and look how cute these bows are. I'm absolutely obsessed with them but yeah those are the items from target i just have a couple of more boxes to open with you guys um the first one is the world market one that is right here there's not there's only two items here they're just big items so let's get into them we have new placement and the reason being is because the ones that I got from Target, I'm sure you guys have seen a ton in my previous videos. I've been using them ever since December. Um, I don't have them anymore. Like my mom got so pissed one day. She was like, throw this away. If not, I'm going to go crazy. So those ones from Target, they were absolutely beautiful, but they were shedding hair so much. Like it was so embarrassing. A couple of times we had guests over and we were using those placemats and like the sheds get into the food and it's obviously not ideal um so 
that's what we got rid of them um so in the replacement of those i got this because i still wanted that um vibe of it um i didn't want anything sparkly i just wanted something like this so i found this at world market um so this is compared to the other one just a little bit smaller but i checked with our plates it just fits perfectly um, if you're using a um, dinner plate, you won't be able to use your glass on this. So you have to put a separate coaster, which I personally don't mind. You guys know how much I love coasters. Um, but yeah, I got eight of these. They were only available for eight um, at the first time that I ordered. And then a couple of days later, I checked. They had more available and I ordered one more set too. It comes in a pack of four. So we're going to have 12 of it, which is perfect because we're always hosting. So yeah, I got two packs of that and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. There's not going to be much of um, hair on our fruits anymore. Um, and then this was the only next item I got and honestly I didn't even know we have this after purchasing it I realized we have the silver one but I wanted a rose gold one and this is the matte rose gold basically measuring um, spoons how cute are these this was only i think five dollar or six dollar if i'm not mistaken it has like all the measurements here it just looks very cute and since it's rose gold i think it will go perfectly with our kitchen so yeah this was the next thing that i got from world market then i had a little skincare item that you have no idea how badly i wanted to open and try this but i was keeping it for this video because I want to show you guys first then opening. Um, if you guys remember a few vlogs ago, I was talking about supporting um, beauty brands that are owned by uh, people of color. Um, I put an order then. This was the first item that arrived and I'm super excited to try this. Um, I think the brand is called Avarani and this is a glow activating exfoliator. This is how it looks. It smells very spa-like um, and you guys know how much I suffer with my skin texture so I was thinking maybe I should change up my um, exfoliator so that's why I went with this one I can't wait to try it out um, it seems like a fantastic product but I'll give you guys a review in the future vlogs um, but yeah this is the last item that I had to show you guys uh, I'm gonna say bye to you guys before I continue talking. Um, thank you so much for watching again Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye